Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade Cisco Ironet 3800 series Mobility Express system. Uh, we have three steps to upgrade the, our system software. Uh, first is uh, open the station to Cisco Ironet system dashboard. Another one is download necessary file from the Cisco uh, global site as you see the uh, download page here and uh, first of all you have to uh, log in to this uh, website with your Cisco uh, account so you can check the necessary file necessary uh, upgrade file from the download page uh, we have latest release here I will download this version then I will up upgrade the, our system with this version so already I uh, downloaded the file from this link uh, you can use this link then uh, you will have a one zip file and you have to open the zip file to uh, TFTP server uh, directory so other steps is we have to download the TFTP server from the website you can use this website uh, to download the installation file uh, this button is uh, enough to download the installation file so uh, I'm gonna show you how to install the TFTP server already I uh, download the installation file and uh, running right now so agree next and install that's all there because it is important point uh, if you change the name of the folder uh, upgrade process not working so we will open the TFTP server right now as you see our directory is here and server interface is here so we can go to the our directory to check and program files and tftp64 so uh, we have to move this folder to that directory then we have to open our Cisco dashboard as you see we have four access point here and our uh, software version is this one and I will upgrade with this one so software update uh, transfer mode is here we can use other options but I didn't uh, use any uh, other options yet so I'm using the TFTP and we have to enter the TFTP server IP address here uh, and also we have to put the file path here so our file path is folder name We are entering the folder name to file pet area and we can click the auto restart it as well and then we can monitor the upgrade process here and we can click the update controller is going to the initiate to the image pre download process now if you any schedule update is configured it will be cancelled okay and please clear the browser cache or log out and log in again after reboot when image is upgraded or downgraded because as you know uh, all the access point will restart and you have to log in again as you can see the file transfer is started with TFTP server controller is getting to update 
file from TFTP server. Then we can check the software update version. As you see, thanks for watching.